We are at the stunning Prada Foundation south of Milan. This location opened in 2015 and brings together a wide range of artistic disciplines, from contemporary art exhibitions and innovative architecture to cultural events and film screenings. In this video I will give you a tour of the complex and take you around some of the permanent exhibitions. Let's start by dropping off my coat and my bag. The materials at the foundation are extremely well curated and are used in creative ways. As we head downstairs, we arrive at this minimal space lined with steel grid walls and injected with acid green highlights. I don't usually include toilets into tours, but these are worth seeing. Every element at the foundation seems to have been carefully considered. I won't be able to take any videos inside the temporary exhibitions. Ben Kohlhaas and his team at OMA transformed an early 20th century distillery into a multidimensional cultural space. It is a captivating fusion between historic and modern, seamlessly combining preserved industrial structures with contemporary interventions. The gold leaf finish gives importance to something quite modest, and the colour highlights add a contemporary twist to the complex. It provides a unique backdrop for contemporary art and fosters a dialogue between the different art forms. This is the Tower building, which translates into Tower, that spans across several exhibition levels. We'll be exploring the permanent exhibition called Atlas in the Space, which features works from 1960 to 2016 and reflects the evolution of the Foundation's activities. Here you can see Carsten Heller's upside down mushroom room, which he created for the Prada Foundation in the year 2000. Tapping into his scientific background within his artistic practice, Heller focuses on human perception and introspection and creates installations that challenge our senses.
Processo Grotesco is another permanent installation created by Thomas Demand. He's known for his photographs of intricate paper models. In 2006, the artist created his photographic project called Grotto, for which he translated a postcard depiction of a cave in Mallorca into a physical model made up of 900,000 cardboard layers shaped through computer modeling. For the opening of this venue, Grotto resurfaced as Processo Grotesco, incorporating documentary materials. This allows visitors to explore the creative process behind the realization of the photograph and shows how the artwork has evolved over time. Let's quickly check out the bookshop. Lastly, we'll be ending our visit by popping into Bar Luce, which was designed by Wes Anderson in 2015, with the aim to recreate the atmosphere of a typical Milanese cafe from the 50s and 60s. I hope you enjoyed this visit. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more videos like this.